Hey there, visionaries. Today's video is all about, right down here, all things to do around the Bay Area, but not in the San Francisco Bay Area. It's gonna show you a few things that we did that we really enjoyed while we were around the area. Um, so what it's not about, the wild pigs in the San Benito area. That was when we were staying at the San Benito RV Resort. And um, by the way, uh, internet connectivity is very poor there uh, as far as your cell phone coverage. Forget it for internet. From the rolling hills of San Benito and the wild pigs, we decided to go to a little place to eat called Suncoast Organic Farms. Uh, it's in Hollister, California out in the country. Neat little place, have really good food, a lot of organic foods obviously, and uh, gluten-free foods, uh, keto. They have a lot of keto sweets and pizza. That was a really cool place to visit. Downtown Santa Cruz Boardwalk. We take a trip down to Santa Cruz area and visit the Santa Cruz Pier, Santa Cruz Beach, and the Santa Cruz Boardwalk Amusement Park. Yep, my closet space in that RV is getting littler and littler. Shell just got another sweatshirt. <laughs> I was telling them about my closet space in the RV is getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> Time to purge. Yeah, purge. I'm going to accumulate a hoodie everywhere we go. And I'm going to have to get rid of a hoodie everywhere we go. <laughs> Wait, I don't have any hoodies right now. Am I taking this a little too far when they say happy wife? Happy life. Nope. I might Never. be. I might be going. To, I might be taking. The, hi there, guy. We're gonna follow her. Fellow visionary, right back here. I mistakenly called the pier the boardwalk earlier. I didn't realize I did that. Michelle told me I did. We are now on the boardwalk. <laughs> Well, I guess we weren't on the actual <laughs> boardwalk yet. That was the beach part earlier. It was boards, made of boards, and we were walking. Therefore, it was a board walk. No, I'll find the boardwalk. I know my boardwalks. <laughs> There's always one. Yeah. Sometimes two. And I've been one of those before. We are now on the concrete walk. <laughs> Next, we went to Capitola Beach. Uh, that was really cool. There was a little village uh, area there that kind of looked like a little village with pastel colored little cottages. I'm guessing there were rentals. We ate right there uh, overlooking the ocean. That was really neat. Michelle got mesmerized by the flowers here and how big they are. <laughs> this looks like a, it's a eating. So we just ate it. Paradise. Grill. Yeah, I had to look. <laughs> Paradise Beach Grill. Yeah. And uh, we can now say we recommend it. It was yes. very good. Very good. Clam chowder. Excellent. You want to go to Mr. Toots? Italian sodas, pastries, coffee. Yep. Reminds me of like, I don't know, like a little Italy area or something. Yeah. 
After leaving, we stopped by a place called Giz Ditch Ranch where we were told they made the very best pies you've ever had and they had fresh strawberries. And of course, once pies was mentioned to Michelle, that's all she wrote. Giz Ditch Ranch. Look at Michelle's eyes light up. We're trying to find it, seriously. I want the pie. Boy, here we are. We're at Giz Ditch Ranch. Gonna get our Giz Ditch strawberries and our Giz Ditch pie. I hope it doesn't gives me an itch. I've never seen Michelle move so fast. One other really cool thing we did, we went to a place called Fort Ord Dunes. Um, had some really uh, cool scenery there. We went to visit a winery. We didn't get to see very many vineyards and wineries, which are everywhere, but we did see one called Guillermo Winery. And we did find a wine that we really, really liked, which is a red wine, a dry red. Guillermo Winery, it's a family owned business. We did speak to one of the granddaughters that worked there now. Her grandparents were the ones that immigrated from Italy and started the winery, the vineyards, and uh, really cool history, story to it. The property is just gorgeous. Then we took a cruise down to Carmel Beach little town of Carmel is where Clint Eastwood had a restaurant called Hog's Breath Inn. He no longer owns that. I was hoping to see Clint Eastwood, but the punk did not make my day. Sorry, Clint, I didn't really call you a punk. I'm just kidding. Anyway, uh, it used to be his restaurant, the Hog's Breath Inn. I need to not here. Where's Clint? I was playing. He's out today. <laughs> Now where Michelle is walking. Where did she go? This place is amazing. If you ever come here to Carmel, California, you need to go here. Yeah, you need to go here. I just showed up at Carmel Beach. Look over there. Look over there. <laughs> yeah, look over there. And that's all we have for today's video. 
If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps us. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We do release a new video every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Click that little bell if you'd like to, and that will also notify you when we do release a new video. That way you don't have to remember it's on a Saturday, right? That's it. We'll see you, our visionaries, in our next video. Have a good one.